Today could be a very sad day indeed for these folks here in The Child I Don't Love. Uh, in fact, also for Just Up Oil, for that matter. Welcome to what could be a very remote episode of Kingdoms Reborn. Because I think that I am going to shut them down. The... <sighs> I thought we had this situation sorted. With Just Stop Oil. I thought we had a good idea going. And I guess we did. We did. The problem is that... I, I don't know. I don't know if the sort of distance to our actual, you know, colony. I don't know if that makes, if, I don't know if that becomes a problem. I can imagine it would, to be very honest. I feel like it could become a, a bit of an issue. So I feel like what might be an easier idea, because I also, I've, I've tried to wait for you know, the resources to be pulled, they're just not coming through. There is a lot of coal here, I do know this. I mean, that is that is a lot of coal we could potentially be destroying, giving up, right? And I feel like this is my biggest hesitation right now, is that we could potentially lose a ton of resources, of coal, of gold ore, and then also what do we do? What do we do with gold? How do we get our gold ore? Well, I've been thinking about that, and it seems like there's one thing that I've been avoiding for quite some time, which, you know, I don't know. I don't know if if it's been something that has been intentional, or, but I feel like something that I have been avoiding this whole time is trading, and it's something that I haven't really touched on, and it's actually something that's quite, I wouldn't say important or imperative. I guess you could do it realistically, but at the moment, this 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 situation is just not it's not feasible we can't keep sending more and more people over um you know you don't think about it in the moment but we're losing so much um just resources we're losing so many people to these areas um yeah i know it's a lot of oil but we're not really invested into oil too much just yet to be very honest i'm all upset about this colony um but this has been a problem child for quite so long and i don't know i don't know if it's worth investing the extra money to turn the houses into something better put a market up all those good things but the problem is then we have to do the trade it, it, you know what it, it's just it seems like it's a bit it's not it's not worth the trouble in my opinion it's not until we have a better grasp of you know creating colonies across these little sections of water um i feel like a better idea is is going to just be investing in resource dep depots so we can do resource depots and and you know like if we want the oil we can do that we don't need to set up the actual trade routes or anything we it is a bit of an upkeep but we do get the the resource at the very least um and we're gonna shut the colonies down so i'm yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know what else to really do. Um, it's sinking so much resources at the moment. And it's just, it's a lot to manage. It really is. So we're going to go ahead and abandon. Yes. Now, did that give us the resources? I don't think so. No, because... Uh, Same with just stop oil. It's fine. Let's rather nip it in the bud before. You know what? We just nip it in the bud before we get really, really invested into it. Um, and like I said, you, you know, we can do the resource depots if we need to. Sorry, depots, depots, whatever. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. We can we can set those up. Um If... Cannot copy a building we don't own, but this is our building. Okay. Apparently it's not our building. Um, 
What we could do, um, what I was thinking about actually is replacing this building, but now can we destroy it? Okay, at least we can destroy it. Um, I was thinking with this area, because there's gold ore here, and because it's on land, we could set up a colony here. I feel like a land colony might be some somewhat easier to manage, and it might be worth investigating, because even the, I mean, if I just look at it realistically, right, this colony has been... Okay, aside from people maybe leaving or whatever, this colony's been fine. This colony's been producing. This colony is perfect. Like, okay, maybe not perfect, but like, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not unhappy with it. Do you know what I mean? We could we could potentially also invest into this because this could lead up this side. Uh, another place for us to mine iron ore, some farming systems. There's a coal mine here as well, which could be helpful. Actually, that could be very helpful. Um, and we could expand the farming section over here. We could uh, make this a logging. Um, you know, we could, yeah, we could, we could potentially make this a logging area. So I feel like that's sort of a better thing at the moment, you know? Uh, we could set up some farms and stuff for food, uh, which actually I might want to do for fishing stuff right now. We might set up some there's a tavern but we can set up a market we can set, well, maybe not a market but because i don't know if the market will require the um you know the resource uh, the the re require the resources to actually be here in the storage yard which we might have to bring them in through here but also what we could do is maybe potentially go and create a long intercity route it's an option I don't know so I feel like that's that's what we're gonna try and do for now is create land colonies that we can access and we don't have to because I don't know if that's maybe what's causing the problem All right so okay so we had the resource depot de sorry depot we're gonna remove it and I'm going to pull put in a colony colonies town hall must be okay but this is what i'm trying to understand what happened to, was there a, did the bridge not get built here what what is going on intercity road i i, I feel like Okay, that's great. Fantastic. Uh-huh. I don't know how much more attached that road can possibly be. I, I really don't. Okay. Maybe it was that one little section with the bridge. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, uh, here we go again. So, cool, we're gonna set this up correctly, at least in my mind correctly, sorry. And now the thing is, what I find interesting, so there's the logistics hub, right? And, okay, so this logistics hub, could still be what we then use to bring in the food coal medicine so there's some essentials that we do need to bring in now where intercity logistics hub do we have to create one of those oh sorry i can't type okay so we do we will need to then create a logistics hub which I'm now worried this is just going to create the same problems. Maybe not. Who knows? Who knows, right? <sighs> okay. Let's have a look. I don't... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, the thing is, again, the nice part about this is, is that we can then continue to expand this way right yes because if we claim 
this province, we can claim this province. Oh my gosh, the amount of foresters. Guys, I'm getting ideas. Am I deviating off, co off course again? I am, aren't I? Cool. Okay. No. Focus up. Focus up. Cannot attack because that's... There. So literally there's a patch of oil that they're not even going to let us touch. What a bunch of decades. <laughs> okay. Uh, suitable for farming. I don't know what that means. Suitable for farming what? Is, is that not all this land then? Just saying. Uh, we could also look at conquering them again. Oh, again, sorry. We could look at vassalizing them as well. Gain access to all this land. Uh, not a lot of resources over here, though. I mean, the only one is that's oil and the gold. But that's about it. Really? Cool. Uh, right. So, <clears throat> gold mines. Okay. Maybe if we actually searched in the correct place. Gold mine. Set up as many of these as possible. Okay. All right. Demolish the gold mine. It's inaccessible, apparently. Okay. I don't know why it's saying it's inaccessible, but we're gonna... Why? <laughs> Why? What is happening? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh huh. What? There's a freaking road. Is there a road? Oh gosh. Kingdoms Reborn wants to fight me today, apparently. Okay. Alright, and then maybe we can put another one on the side. sense so each gold mine um you know they're not gonna have the resources to okay winter resistance i'm gonna do winter resistance because food we can bring in from the sort of main city um yep it's fine pine foresting gold rush Gonna do that. Cool. So we're looking at a lot of houses. House. Build stone roads? No, I don't think so. I think more dirt roads will do. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we'll see. I'm overlapping the same thing. Connect, connect, connect. 
cool. And then I don't. Yeah, that's fine. I guess. I'm gonna click that. Should be good. Okay. Uh huh. Now we've got a bit of stone that we can use to upgrade the installation. We'll need to bring brick in for that. Uh huh. Oh, I've spent all my money and now I'm broke. <laughs> okay. Cool. Great stuff. Then, um. Okay. There, we need to. So. We'll do the mines of. Sad Moria. Mines of Sad Moria. Fantastic. Uh, when it comes to this intercity logistics hubbo, I'm thinking. You know how me and you know me and thinking, guys. It's a great idea. We can, I guess, put it out here. Which, to be honest, not a bad idea. But I would like to potentially also have it within a... You know what? I'm just going to put it there. So, goodness, people are cold. Don't know why they're cold. That's also something. Yeah, that's that's not something I can really do. Worry about. Worry about. Do thing. Yeah. Do all of our houses have insulation though? Is this a thing? Seems like it. How are we tracking? Oh, great! We're on down to twenty-five. That's fantastic. So, you might think this is being frivolous, but again, I'm trying to see if we set up the gold mine, if we set up this colony, we set up the gold mine. Yeah, where did it go now? Oh, it's over here, obviously. So, if we set this up and we get this up and running, right, this will give us enough gold ore and stuff to do all the electronics that we want to do. Um, Because at the moment, we're going through gold pretty fast. So, I'm thinking that if we can manage to get this working correctly, then awesome. That'll be great. That really will be fantastic. Um, I'm going to get this other one up and going. Sorry. It's fine. Just quick build it. It's okay. Yeah. The Mines of Sad Moria. That's sit storage. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Obviously. I'm getting there. So this is to take from the town. So it's definitely just going to be gold. I mean, that's 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 all that that colony is there to essentially do. Now, gold went past it long ago. Gold ore. It's gonna say yeah, gold ore. I don't know if separating it into separate ones makes a difference. Um, but I think for now, let's just set like two hundred at a time. Then. That's great. The actual colony itself. Hub. Food. 120. Is that going to be enough? Maybe. I'm going to bump it up to 500. Coal. Just put there 500 until it changes. 100. And then tools. Do we really need tools though? No. I'm going to change this to bricks. For the meantime. Bring in bricks. Great. Um, now I'm going to bring in a couple of people. What is our housing situation? So let's do 20. <clears throat> cool. Um, 
sort of building job slots. You know what? You're actually right. I don't think we need so many mites. So let's remove the people. Okay. And I'm broke again. <laughs> cool. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Do you know what? Four mines is actually more than what we need, to be honest. Right. Great. Let's see how that goes. Right. Now, again, it's important to understand while this colony is obviously not, we're not trying to, you know, be utter assholes. At the same token, you know, we, 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 didn't I just bring in people? Oh, no. Yeah. Like, we're not trying. Oh, for goodness sake. Now people are dying of cold. How do I mitigate? I can't. I can't. Do you know what? There's some times where this is just a bad winter, guys. It's a bad winter. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why y'all are cold. Is it because you don't have fuel? Is there no wood? What is going on? Actually, it could be because there's no fuel. You know that. So here's another thing that I'm going to do. And I think I've been avoiding it, you know, again. For some time. What is... Did we trade all our gemstones already? I feel like we have. Because if we go here... Nope. Inventory is still... Good heavens. Okay. I mean... So we're going to bring this down to, say, 500. Sorry. I'm going to import wood again because our forests are just not making enough. Uh, target inventory is a thousand. Actually, you know what? Sorry. Since we're still making a profit here, let's even sell 400. Let's get 300 wood. Yep. I'd be with that. Yep. And we'll just keep that going. And everyone's dying of cold. Uh, gosh. Okay. So the nice thing, look, actually, you know what? Let this run. The nice thing with the hauling services, and this is why I was so focused on them, is because with the hauling services, we don't really need to worry about died or left, old people, 177, 55 died of cold. Oh, no. Anyway. Um, we don't need to worry too much about having laborers. Purely for the reason that uh, the they're, they're employed. They're, it's, uh, like the hauling service is an actual employment thing. Now, do, does that mean that we don't... Uh, no, none. Remove. Sorry, but we don't need a dedicated storage for grapes. No, grapes is a food source at the moment, so we're keeping them. And that's been there for a while. Leave my grapes. Okay. Uh, where was I going with this? Completely lost my damn mind now. Oh, everyone's dying of cold. Everyone's dying of cold. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. I think what we also need to do is let's... So we've got this area here. Now, if I claim this. Haha. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, but that just doesn't make sense, does it? So, okay, we just got to watch for resources. But now I'm assuming I can tunnel through this. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I said cutting, didn't I? Sorry, I thought I said cutting. Let's go passion. 
Um, cool. Yeah. Also cutting. Great. Yeah, I think it's actually just going to be better to just bring in the damn wood. You know? Bring in the wood. Okay. That's... Oh, storage full. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get away else going. Cool. Then food and situation. 200 brick. I want to... Let's upgrade the housing first. Okay, we'll do that. So this is what I'm trying to understand. Why do these colonies constantly have people leaving? I mean, I've I've now brought in people. I'm just trying to understand why this is a thing. Is it because there's no entertainment? Is it because the like what is it? I mean, technically it's 88 p it's 88. Why are people leaving? Okay. I mean, look, if we need to bring in gold ore, it's, it's not, you know, how can I say, um, I wouldn't say it's great. But if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Yeah, and the problem is, is that now a lot of these things are on electricity, which is fine, not really, but the, the, I think the coal production is starting to cease, is it, yeah, and there's not a lot of reserves, at all, oh, that building's also off, because what, there's no workers, shit, now I've, the problem is it's not it's not even just the um the jobs it's it's the holding yeah job slots there's what 300 250 odd jobs job slots that need to be filled so we need like 250 people to come in i uh, hmm, all of us is halting my my victory progress okay maybe we need to go back to fundamentals yeah Yeah, maybe fundamentals is a better idea. Maybe it's time to increase the immigrant offices. Just get a whole bunch of them. Okay. Okay, cool. But now, this is the question of yeah, those those jobs need to be fulfilled like at any given time um our oil power plant mm -hmm. we've got the concrete factory another concrete factory that's okay um hang on I'm almost thinking our... There's a couple of things that need to be prioritized as jobs. I, in my opinion at the moment. Now the problem is, is that I think the markets... Yeah. 
The markets are also a priority. Have to. Have to, have to, have to. Coal power plant. Priority. Uh... Calling services. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's uh let's let the immigration office do its thing. Right. They're gonna bring in people. How fast we don't know. I also don't want to build more offices than what we have now. So like six new immigration offices are going to be pretty helpful to bringing in people. We could also trade um, with others, which sounds hella slavery, but no. Um, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just that we could ask for citizens in exchange for something else. Our iron bars are fantastic. Or is good. I think if we could just increase our coal production, if we could increase, obviously, the wood. Um, now, we're, we're not going to be... The, the production number is not going to be getting higher. But it is important to remember that we are importing. So, you know, we'll just have to see what happens there. Then, um, you know what? Stone tools can fly for kite. For all I care. There's so many... That, you know what? Oh, that can go away. Seriously. Uh, yeah. This is a very tight area. You know, you would think where there is the... What looks like coal deposits, right? This region, you cannot mine the coal from. Which I think is hysterical. <sighs> anyway. Coal mine. I'm really... Yeah. I'm I'm quite upset that we had to abandon that section, that colony, but just couldn't do it anymore, eh? It just was not I don't know, it just wasn't gelling. It's two coal mines. Not helpful. To be honest. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe we could have should have gone here. It's fine. Such a negative Nancy. We could go here. But I don't know. I feel like it could cause more problems. There is this deposit, but we would need to set up the colony system again. Hmm. Hang on. Why are we not mining here? Okay, sorry. I... Okay. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's leave a little bit of space open there so that if we wanted to tunnel through, we could. We're gonna literally set up a boatload of these. Uh, that's four. You know what? Okay. Let's rather do... We can do the side as well. No, that's the one. What? What is there? What? 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 Cool. Let's do that for now. Then. Mhm. Mm Hmm. Um, yeah. Cool. Happy. Happy with that. No, I'm not going to quick build them. Because, again, I want to start trying to fill up a lot more of the other um, job slots that we, that we have. I see this area has coal as well that we have just been neglecting. Why have we just been neglecting this? 
Did I have a plan that I said I was going to open coal mines here? Interesting. Okay. All right. We're um going to... These became stone quarries. So that's fine. No, these were stone quarries. Sorry. And then, yeah. Yeah. So they, the, they create the tools. That's fine. Sorry. Then for iron bars, we had the iron smelters, right? Where are they? Yeah, we can't upgrade them anymore. But I think we're doing fine on the smelting element. Yep. See, this is the problem. The problem is also like wood for being a resource that is so difficult to seemingly, you know, mine through the forestry systems it's such an important like it's such a it's it is it's it's like in almost everything it's insane it is absolutely insane i'm gonna speed these buildings up a little bit Mm hmm Okay. Everyone's still crying out for tools. I'm just keeping an eye on the wood production to see if we are bringing in enough. Now, again, with bringing in all these people, like we said, we're going to need to increase our food generation. So we could take this province and but no maybe maybe not there can't claim that which is a bit of a no bit of, a bit annoying sorry um we could add on to actually you know what we already own this so we could clear out this area if we had laborers and haulers you know can we actually We can. So we're going to say 50. Boulders? No, we're fine. So at all time, we've got 50 laborers. I'm actually happy with that, to be honest. Because there's a lot of things that we need done. I mean, I we still need to clear this. Like, it's ridiculous. A lot of areas and stuff that we need cleared out. So that we can make that's a forest province which we can claim um and i feel like what would the fertility overlay look like here bad terrible oof okay <laughs> uh so much for that idea no that's fine that's fine maybe what we can do is what is yeah but what is the actual fertility here 71 percent which means what was the what was the fertility dependence of rice are you telling me rice needs 110 percent fertility okay fair enough sure all right so yeah, we really need to work on the irrigation systems, don't we? Which, fair. Because we already own this province. And I'm thinking if we set up irrigation systems, which, I promise, is going to cost us money. But if we can set up the irrigation systems for this area um, and increase the fertility... We can't, see, you can't claim that area, which is a, a problem. There is, yeah, I mean, there is this area as well, which has 100% fertility. But it's on a sacred site. I don't know what, I don't even know what that means, to be honest. 
see like for the most part like genuinely aside from some small little places like this and what was it, our initial yeah like our initial little setups here it's not a huge amount of like fertile densely fertile areas sorry so we can do rice as a food source rice again very helpful we've got all the sucky stuff that we can you know there's a lot of things we can do there cabbage yeah. I mean, it's neither here nor there, to be honest. We could invest more into f the fish part of things. You know, generate more fish. Hmm, that's mushrooms. Could do mushrooms. Fish. Okay. Yummy white liquid. What? I mean, okay, they're not wrong, but it's just a bit of a weird description. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to get ahead of it and try to... You, know, you see, this is all rice farms and stuff. I would like to get ahead of it. And I would like to try and... But oh, we can't copy provincials. That's fine. Can't just grab it here, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to get ahead of it. So I think what we'll do is... Let's do that. We'll set up some irrigation... Systems. Oh, we need a... Irrigation... Uh, pump. That's that's the one I'm looking for. Yes, the pump will face fresh water. Relax. Okay. Yeah. Right. Then we've got the irrigation ditches. Um. I don't know how to set these up. I mean, I, physically, I know how to set them up, obviously. But I'm trying to figure out what's sort of the best way to actually do that. Um, yeah. Okay. So we can either have one main branch, one main sort of... We can even connect it to this one, I guess. Yeah, so we have one main branch, one main thing, I guess you want to say, one main feed, that's the word I'm looking for, and then we have, because they each um, feed, each line accounts for five, it, it creates fertility in the five blocks surrounding it, right, so let's, really, okay, ditch. So, <clears throat> in this instance, we want to go maybe, what is this? Let's go one, two, three, four, ah, one, two, three, four, five. So we can do like that. Cool. Then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then we can go down. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Go down again. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. There we go. That should actually one, two, three, four, five. Or do we even do this? What the fuck is this? Yep. 
Pak out of here, mountain town. I don't think that's doing anything, is it? Oh, it is not. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what? That's that's okay. Cool. So now this is what I'm trying to understand as well: is are there limitations? Because it looks like there are. Yeah, there is. It's the water usage. I never actually picked up on that before. So, I think what we can do is let's see what happens if we add in another irrigation pump. Uh, the reason being is actually because I think it might reduce their efficiency. So, sorry, maybe what we can do is if we put the other pump over here. Uh-huh. And let's add, sorry, let's quick build. If we add... <clears throat> that to that does that help it does it does ah fantastic that's great yay for us <laughs> cool so that means that yeah we can set up all we can set up our Set up our rice breeder. And I think what we'll do is we'll put it here. So that it's not... That's not a road though. Um, No, we want it central. Wondering if I mustn't just... No, oh, sorry, demolish. Yes. Okay. Uh, where was I going with this rice breeder? Cool. Yeah. Sort of slap bang in the middle, right? I feel like it is. Mm hmm Then we're gonna go farms. So we'll go mm, how do I optimize this? From what? Yeah. True, 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 true. Uh-huh. Great stuff. Loving it. Seems reasonable. Sort of. I guess. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, house is too far, apparently. Huh. Who the best way to mitigate that? 
We could, actually. I mean, I didn't think it would be too far. If we built housing here, would that still be too far? Let's have a look. Oh no, buy cotton mill. Ah, okay, so there are farms up there that's going to have a problem. It's fine. Um, fine. Whatever. Just claim the damn province. I think it's a bit of a ridiculous notion, but anyway. <clears throat> right. Eh, I suppose we'll have to do something about storage, too. Eddy storage, man. Freaking storage. Um, no, because the problem is that, uh, let's do here. Perfect. Oh, come on. Are you still too far? Hmm? No. Oh, Thank you. Okay. All right. I feel like we're we're kind of starting to solve some problems. I don't know, maybe. I uh I don't know. I don't know if we are, I don't know if we're not to be honest with you. All right, these destroy, destroy. You're fine. Good job. There's a lot of gold ore here. We actually have a lot of gold ore. Are the goldsmiths able to handle actually smelting all of the ore? Is like is that where the slowdown in the gold bars has come from? But how many smelters? We have one, two, three, four. You tell me we need more than four smelters? Oh, do you know what? It could have been because of the coal. Could have actually seriously been because of the coal. So maybe what we should actually be doing is getting these coal mines up and running. Yeah, look. Fair enough. Freaking storage all over the bloody place. So unoptimized, it's not even funny. But that's okay. I don't have glass. Oh, I'll have to rectify that. We've never run out of glass. Yay, for being broke. Again. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. If we can get the gold mines... Gold mines, sorry? Coal mines. Then, um... If we can get that stuff... Flowing smoothly, that'll be great. Okay. Johnny died from sickness. 
go back to the normal fertility. Uh, sorry, overlay. <clears throat> Uh, boost you, boost you. Okay. Our population starting to go back up a bit. 1298. I think we were stuck on about 1200 under for a while. Uh, looks like there's some problems happening. I think we definitely need to going to... I think what I'm going to do, because we have... We have a lot of dye. Like a lot. So I'm going to swap some of these out to medicinal herb. Okay. Um, if we start running out of dye, we change them back. Right? That's fine. But I think for now, we really can um, just maybe hold out on the dye production for the moment. Uh, we, thing is, we've got... Actually, you know what? Sorry. We've got medicine. Medicine's fine. Medicine is not actually an issue. I don't know why people are dying from sickness. Is it even us? Or is it here? Or is it here? It's here, isn't it? There's like 14 people. Four, five, six. It's going to be another freaking colony I'm going to have to abandon. Um. Okay. Hmm. But how do I mitigate against this? This is what I'm trying to understand. I don't know how to keep... Because now the mines are... There's, there's, there's no one. There's absolutely no one. Working in these mines. I don't want to keep bringing people over. What What is... So, job, entertainment, luxury, food. Yeah. See, the, this is the problem. I think the, the issue is that, in all seriousness, if you set up colonies, you have to be willing to treat them as a second city. Like, okay, I understand how simple that may sound on the face of it, but you really need to think of them as like genuinely a second city that you're going to have to run exactly the same way as you run the first one, your main one. You can't think of them as simple like mining hubs to get resources. So the only other thing I can think of is I don't know if we can put down more than one resource depot per province. Um, I think personally I would like to possibly to gather and haul. Yeah. Look, I mean, I understand that people are probably dying of cold and sickness because also there's there's a lot to consider. There's fuel you know, wood is just... I actually don't even know if wood's being sent here. We could try and claim, or, or like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cut down all this wood. Our luck with foresters has been terrible. <laughs> to be very honest with you. Like, uh, it's it's been... It's, it's just been awful. So, yeah. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Okay. Look, at least it's not the mainland, right? So actually, we didn't need to worry about making more medicine, but it's fine. We don't... I mean, you know... To be honest. I mean, these cotton mills we set up. <laughs> Last episode. Still not even built yet. Okay. Um, yeah. We're also burning through cash. We're bleeding a little bit here. So we really need to... Just start getting some... 
you know, cash back into the town. James does a selling, so at least that's something. Could set up another trading company. I think we've tried to set one up here. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, that seems to be doing pretty well. So I think we've probably, yeah, we're 21 out of 80 now. Okay, so there's definitely something that we need to do before we can really start pushing all these luxuries. Um, I feel like there's maybe some things from the ground up that we need to relook at, which could take us some time, but that's great. Um, I'm stoked about that, to be honest. Um, lately, it's been getting a little bit, I guess, sad, thinking that this is going to come to an end probably soon. So, yeah, it's cool. Anyway, for now, we don't have to worry about that because there's still a lot we need to get done. In order to get that um, that elusive 80 level 8 houses. Cool. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button while you're there. Why not consider subscribing as well? It really helps out the channel. Uh, and it helps the sad minds of Moria not collapse into total disrepair. Although I feel like that's probably what's happening. So, in all honesty, I don't know. Probably just going to try and maybe bleed the resources out. See if we can't... Uh, extract all that ore because there's a lot of ore happening again and uh or we just call it a quits we don't know anyway thanks so much and until next time cheers